Okay, this is a tutorial on how to create the train body in Autodesk Inventor. Uh, we're going to begin by creating a sketch. Right. I like to draw, if you were looking at the train, what would be the right side. So we're going to create a sketch here. Draw a line straight up at 0 .875. Then we're going to draw out to the right a distance of 3.75, which is 5.5 minus the back half of our train. And then we're going to go up a distance of 2.25 minus 0.875. And then we're going to go to the right again, a distance of 1.75. We're going to go straight down. And then straight across. And then hit finish. And we're going to extrude that a distance of 2 inches. Okay, now I want to go to the front of the train and create a sketch here. We're going to put in our boiler. So we need to do a circle. And our tells us our radius is 0.75, so we need the diameter. So that's 0.75 times 2. Now we need to dimension from the center point to the bottom line here, which is 1.375. And then we're going to hit finish and we're going to extrude that to the back here. All right, so we should have something so far that looks like this. All right, now let's do a sketch on the side and we'll go ahead and put our holes in for um, our bolts. I like to do this with points, just kind of randomly put them out there for right now. You can dimension the points from the bottom. It tells us our 0.5. Same here. Okay, and then let's see. This point here from the back of the train is a dimension of 1 inch. And from here to there. Those are four and a half inches. Sorry, that's three and a half inches. That looks better. Okay, then we hit finish. We're going to do a hole. It's a threaded hole, so it's a quarter twenty thread. Make sure you select the threads. And we're going to go all the way through with it. And you can see we've got threads in there on those on those holes. Okay, now let's go ahead and put the holes on the front of the train. Again, we're just going to use points. So we've got one, two, and three. And again, we've got to dimension these points. And that one, it tells us, is 0.125. From the bottom, same with this one. Okay, this one. Is from this edge. 0.375. And this one. From this edge is 1.625 okay, now we need to dimension the center one from the bottom line it is a dimension of 0.625 okay, and then from the edge it is one inch which we've got it there already so we hit finish we select hole. It tells us our diameter is 0.125 and it goes 0.125 inches deep. So we need to go a distance of 0.125 and 0.125 inch holes.
There's our holes in the front. Now we can go to the back and we can put in our uh, hole for our magnet. Again, we're going to do a point just to mention it from the bottom here. It tells us 0.375 and then from the edge of the train is one inch, which we're already there. We're going to hit finish there. We're going to do a hole. And this time it is a quarter inch diameter with a half inch depth. So 0.25, or sorry, 0.5 there. And then 0.25 right there. And we're going to do it as flat. Hit OK. Now, we're going to do another sketch on the back here. And we need to put in our arched, arc top. So it tells us our radius is 2.35. So we need to do 2.35 times 2 to get our diameter. And then we're going to come in and we're going to draw a line. Connect here to here. And here to here. And we're going to trim everything but that. Hit finish. We're going to extrude this forward. And it's a distance of 1.75. And then hit OK. Now we've got our arc top. We've got our holes on the front. We've got our holes in the side. We've got our magnet. We need to put our hole here and also on top. So let's go ahead and do the one here. It tells us it is a circle. We're gonna, I'm going to use a point just to get the dimensions. And then we can go back in and put our circle. So from here to here, it tells us it is 1.75. Then it tells us the center point of our circle from this edge is 0.25. So now we need to do a circle on that center point, on that point right there. With a radius of 0.5, so that is a one inch circle. And we're going to come in here and we're going to do a straight line just straight across. And the same right here. And we're going to trim. Connect and hit finish. Extrude. We're gonna extrude that all the way through. And there's our little cutout. Okay. Now we're gonna do a plane to put our hole on the top here. So we click plane, go to origin. And we are going to use a XZ plane. Right, and we're going to pull it up to the top here. Be right there. And we're going to hit the check mark. Create a sketch on our plane. Now we can go ahead and do a circle. Uh, let's do a point, actually. Actually, first, let's project geometry to get this the front of this train to show up. That'll make it a little bit easier on us when we go to try to do this. So I'm going to do a point. See, it gives us the dotted line there to tell us when we're in the center. Right, I'm going to dimension from the here to the front. And it tells us we have a dimension of 0 0.875. Okay, so we've got that position. We can hit finish. We're going to do another hole. This time it is a diameter of 0.5 with a depth of 0.25. And I want to use a flat, flat bottom as well. Hit OK. 
right click on the work plane here and remove the visibility on our plane okay, and then we're left with this scroll around and look at it okay and the last thing it tells us that we have to do is we have to round all of our edges to a radius of 0 0.1 so we're going to use fillet I'm going to change our radius to 0 0.1 and then we're going to go in and we're going to start rounding all these edges okay so any edge that is there we're going to round it okay and once you finish that that completes the uh, the train body and you will be done with it you can save it and move on to the next part And there is what the train, the finished train body should look like. With all the edges rounded and everything in place.